Do you end up with a lot of odd shaped scraps? I've got a great project for you. All right, we're going to make bookmarks, but not just any, the kind of bookmark that hooks on the corner of your book. This teeny tiny one is made with a two and a half inch block. I recommend a three and a half inch block. So that's what we're going to use. So you need three, three and a half inch blocks. And one of them, I want you to put fusible fleece on the back. All right, so here are all my pieces. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the pieces and I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm just going to finger press it. I'm not gonna take it over and do the whole thing with my iron. Then I'm going to lay that piece on a corner of my other piece. Then I'm gonna take this piece, which will be my back piece, and I'm gonna lay it on top. So you're making a little bit of a sandwich and I'm just gonna clip this together, whoops, maybe, with my Wonder Clips so that I can then sew it together. And I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam, seam all the way around and I'm gonna leave about three inches here, two inches here in the middle, um, but make sure you sew over your corners or the corners will end up looking like this one. See how that looks kind of ugly? So make sure you sew over your corners and then we'll flip it in the middle. So I have my little sandwich made and to help, I'm going to cut off some of this excess fabric. Now I'm going to turn it right side out. One of the things that's a tip on this is to um, back stitch on either side of the opening so that it doesn't pull open. Now I'm going to go press it in so that I can sew a top stitch all the way around. The way around to close up that little hole that I used to pull things through. It's just a cute little bookmark that any bookworm would love to have for Christmas. You just put it in just like that and your place is saved. 